Hello everyone, welcome back to our Mastermind in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tutorial series. This is Steam Code, and in the previous tutorial we worked on the index.html file, and in this tutorial we're going to work on getting the board and the color board all up and running. And so, before we move on to CSS, there's one thing I forgot in the last video, and that's the IDs of the secret colors. So just set those right now. For the first one, call that secret color one and then two three four for the rest of them all right that's all we need for index.html so now let's move on to the css file so the first thing we're going to be dealing with in the css file is the full board so say dot full board and then for the border for the border we'll have five pixels solid black We'll also set the background color to black. We'll set the height to 805 pixels and the width will also be set to 400 pixels. These values can change depending on what you want, but I just chose these because I like the way it looks. All right, so that's all we need for the full board. So if you hop back into here and you reload, as you can see, the full board now comes into view. Now let's work on the board with the actual cells. So dot board. We'll set the display to grid because we're going to be using a grid of cells. Width will be set to 292.72 pixels. These are all numbers that I calculated ahead of time because these I found look best. The height will be 100%. And we're gonna float it to the left, so it's gonna gravitate to the left side of the board. And so if you reload that, as you can see, you can't see anything yet because we haven't set any attributes of the board that are visible, but we'll do that later on. So now for the pegs, display will also be set to grid because we're going to be using a grid of pegs. Height will be 100%. Width will be 20%. And we're going to float it to the right. And margin top will be 0 pixels. Reload that again, same as the board, you can't see anything because we haven't set any visible attributes just yet, but that's fine. So now let's move on to the color board. Display, like the others, will be set to grid. And then we're going to set the grid template columns to repeat to by 100 pixels. Grid template rows will be repeat 3 by 100 pixels. And so there are going to be six colors, each one of a square. Each one of them is a square. There are going to be two columns and three rows. The width will be 200 pixels. And the height will be 300 pixels. We'll set the border to 5 pixels, solid black, margin will be 0 auto to center it within the page, margin top will be 10 pixels so that it's 10 pixels down from the top of the page. So if you save that, now you're able to see the container that contains the color board. And so now let's move on to the current color. And as you might remember, the current color is this box right here that displays what the current color of the board is, or the current color of the user is. So we'll set the display to grid. Grid template columns, repeat 4 by 50 pixels. 
grid template rows. Repeat one by 50 pixels. The width of the entire thing will be 200 pixels. The height will be 50 pixels. The border will be set to five pixels solid black like the others. Margin zero auto to center it within the page. Margin top will be 10 pixels to make it 10 pixels from the top. So save that. The color board now shows up. So now we're going to move on to the secret color. So dot secret color. And for that, we're just going to set the background color to black. And then for the submit button, the width is going to be 200 pixels. Height will be 50 pixels. Border will be 5 pixels solid black. Margin 0 auto. Margin at the top 10 pixels. Font size 48 pixels. We're going to align the text to the center. And then for the font family, which is just the font, will be Franklin Gothic Medium. You can choose whatever you want. I just like this the most. Background color. We'll set that to gray. And opacity, we'll set that to 0.7. Now dot submit hover. So this will happen once you hover over the submit button. We'll set the cursor to a pointer. And the opacity will be set to 1. So save this, reload, now you can see the opacity changes and the cursor changes as we hover over that submit button. And then dot other margin left will be set to 100 pixels. So it shifts everything 100 pixels to the right. So now it's properly aligned. All right. So now we're going to move into our app.js file. And then within app.js, this is where we're going to be actually creating the cells. So let's use a little bit of jQuery here. So document dot, dot ready function. And then all we're going to be doing right now is creating the cells. We'll do the rest of the JavaScript and jQuery in later videos. So right now, let's just create the cell. So for let i equal 0, i is less than 44, because there are going to be 44 cells. Increment i by 1, so i plus plus. And then let cell equal div class. And then board cell we need an equal sign right here so that'll set the class of this div to board cell and then ID equals board plus I plus the 
and tag of this div. And then we're going to add this to the actual board. So we'll say dollar sign dot board dot append so all right we haven't set the style of the cell so if you reload you won't see anything just yet but we'll do that soon enough so now you can copy this and we'll replicate the process for the pegs so same parameters for the for loop then within the cell all you need to do is change board to peg so board cell becomes peg cell and then ID equals peg plus I plus div and then dot pegs dot append cell and so save that now we're gonna actually set the styles so dot board dot CSS grid template rows will be set to repeat 11 by 73.18 pixels these are numbers that I calculated all all ahead of time and then we're going to do the same thing for grid template column so just copy that change rows to columns and then repeat 4 by 73.18 pixels and then now let's change the style of the board cell so board cell dot CSS border will be set to one pixel solid black then we'll say dot board cell dot CSS border radius and we'll set that to 50% to make each cell a circle and then we're going to set the background color to white. So just copy that, paste it, change border radius to background color, and set that to white. Alright, so save that, reload the page, and as you can see, these cells have now appeared. So we're looking closer to what we have in our final product. So now we're going to basically replicate the entire process for the pegs. So now just copy all of that, paste it, change that to pegs, change that to pegs. This becomes peg cell as well as the other two, peg cell and peg cell. And then grid template rows repeat 22 this time by 36.59 pixels. So 36.59 pixels. And then repeat 2 by 36.59 pixels. And then we'll also have the border radius as 50%. The background color will be white, or the background color will be gray, I mean, and the border will also be one pixel solid black. So save this, reload, and now these pegs come on the actual screen. So now we're going to work on the color board, and that'll be it for this video. So for this, we're going to use a dot each function. So say dot color dot each and then function so this basically says for every element in the HTML file that has a class of color 
do whatever's inside of here. So dot color dot each function, we're going to create a variable called color. So let color equal this dot attribute ID, because as you can remember from the last video, the IDs are the actual colors. And then we'll say this dot background this dot CSS I mean sorry and then background color will be set to color so save this reload and as you can see the color board now appears and so in the next video we're going to be working on the JS side of things and actually getting these colors on the board but for right now I hope that's I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you and this has been steam code you can access the code on our github I have it all posted there with comments and with full code if you miss anything and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this has been steam code I'll see you next time